You guys, look at this. We have sprouts. Teensy, itty bitty little sprouts. And they are coming up so quick. These are actually... Uh, da -da -da -da. The snow peas. The organ, uh, snow pea organ sugar pea pod. Or sugar pod number two. I don't know what number one was like, but I guess the first variety. But that's these little guys. And look at how quickly they've grown. They have really taken off. They're nice and strong. They've got the cutest little leaves. I really have kind of a passion for pea and bean uh, plants as they grow because I think they're very attractive plants. And we've also got... Dun, 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 look at all of our lettuce seeds. This is the Tom's Thumb Lettuce, which only gets to about like four inches. They make for really good compact lettuce things. I'm actually tempted to see if I can keep like a few of them in this kind of container and transfer a few more over like this kind of container and then just keep these guys like under these lights and keep a constant source of lettuce in here. And over here we have the um, Boston Leaf Lettuce, which also really took off. I think the, the ones that don't have any sprouts coming out of it are actually like I missed those spots or something because look at these guys so many of them have taken off and that actually means kind of an awkward part of the gardening process where now my job is to actually like come in here and use my little scissors and snip back several of the contenders who like this little weak one and this little weak one anybody who doesn't look like like this guy's lucky there's just one sprouting up so he gets to stay safe and I'm going to throw some more seeds in here because it looks like I just missed that one too. But anybody who's like short and squat has to be plucked out so that the other lettuce seeds have a better chance, so other lettuce sprouts I should say, have a better chance of popping up. So I'm going to be clearing those guys out too. But it's so exciting to see this like budding greenery just a few feet away from my desk. It's so much fun. And nobody... Nobody yet from our heirloom seeds we planted. I planted uh, the eggplants, and I planted some basil, and I planted some of the um, uh, gourds. Yeah, the little, the little like, patty pan gourds, and I think some other stuff. I was going to write it down, and I didn't, and then we moved them, and things got kind of flipped around. And I haven't actually planted anything in here yet, but Darling got me my birthday presents. So I'm going to be putting like the peas, so we'll have lots of different varieties of peas. I love pea flowers. I think that they're so pretty. And we'll have like a couple cantaloupe, and I'm going to set up a few corn. Again, I'm not sure if we'll have enough sun for the corn to really take off, but I want to try because I've never really tried to grow corn before. My brother did, and he was very successful and had fun with it. And then I'm also going to plant some of our zinnias so we can get those going. And these guys are annuals, so they're going to drop their seeds, and I'm hoping that when they drop their seeds, they will propagate in the area that I'm going to plant them. So even after Darling and I, and you tweety ones, yeah, it's your bedtime. That's why I have to make this short. But even after Darling and I and those Tweety crew uh, move away at, in August at the end of the summer, we will be able to leave something good behind. And that's really my biggest goal, is that these will be able to just make the area that was a dump and such a trash zone something nicer and so I'm really happy to leave these plants here all right so I'm gonna work on that I haven't planted uh, I've, other than the let's see we did the apple green eggplant the patty pan squash the basil what other grow journey oh I guess it's almost time to do the yellow tomato pears which I love and a couple of the tomatillos I would like to do a couple of tomatillos so you know what I'll do a few of those um, like yeah do that, do that, okay, and I'm going to get to work planting these, and then I will see you guys in just a minute when it is time to prune those guys, which is the hardest thing for me, but through experience I've learned over the years that more greenery isn't always better. You want to really give at least one sprout a fighting chance if you actually want them to grow. Ta-da! And now the second tray is planted, and we have three rows of different zinnia seeds over here. We've got the pea seeds that Darling brought home, and then we've got, um, oh, ouch, <laughs> I just bonked my head on this, that's so funny. And I don't remember, I don't think I put anything in here, so these guys are going to get zinnias too. And then we've got, um, some of the tomatillos, we've got some of the yellow pear tomatoes, and I think... I think that's everybody I planted in here for now. So I'm happy about that. I'm not happy about this fungus in this one. So this guy is going to be coming out. This is what they look like. 
but you can see there's some fungus growing in it so he's getting yanked out and so is the one behind it yeah get out of here fungus you're not gonna infest my little plants nope 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 and some of the seeds are very old so I wouldn't be surprised if they just rotted especially because this is so wet this medium is so intensely wet and the, the zinnia seeds look really cool so I love the names on them too. We have the Violet Queen Giant Zinnia, which is beautiful violet color. We've just got the California Giants mixed colors. And then we've also got the Enchantress Giant, a beautiful pink. And I just kind of picked those ones out because they kind of matched and I really liked them. And I want to sprinkle them around. Stir. There we go. I want to sprinkle them around quite a bit. But so what we have to do now it's kind of awkward, but I need to like come in and gently end the weakest looking seedlings, which is so hard for me. And then I need to come in and I need to remove all the wee little seedlings. It's so sad. I'm sorry. Sorry. Actually, I can eat these. So actually, <laughs> I just realized I was like, why am I wasting them? All right, let's find the weakest. You can just pluck it out. Look at the the root that it managed to get on itself in just a few days but I can actually pluck it out rinse it off and eat it later if I wanted to so we have to go through and remove these guys though because they will take up space in uh, the the little pod that our healthier lettuce is trying to grow in so we want to take out anyone who looks like they might be the weakest of the family per pod and it was so hard for me to understand this when I was younger because I was like but shouldn't it be that I want to keep I want to keep the um, all the greenery all the growth possible and there's a fine balance you don't want too many of them or else nobody will grow at all so it's it was really really hard for me to get that around like wrapped around my head uh, I'm gonna take out these guys there we go you might do okay there's one growing down the side here, that's hilarious. But it was really, really hard for me to get that wrapped around my head, or my head wrapped around it, I should say. I'm mixing up my things all the time. That's so funny, I love when I, I mix up my metaphors without realizing it, and I listen back later, and I just, I just burst out laughing. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? Really, Siri? There we go, that looks a lot better. So I'm gonna let, let's see, and you don't look like you two are very strong, so I'm gonna remove you two. There we go. So that'll give the Tom's Thumb lettuce a little bit more wiggle room. And it'll let the other guys have more space and nutrients to really take off. You can pack lettuce in pretty close, I hear. I am not an expert gardener, but I want to learn to be a really good gardener because I want to share the adventure with you guys. So this is all trial and error. And I used to think you had to be an expert and people would laugh at you if you didn't garden very well and like you wasted resources. But I realized I spent years not trying to learn to garden because I was so intimidated by what people would think and now I'm just gonna take off I'm gonna do this I'm gonna have a good time you know what I mean because it's all about the experience and what better wisdom can you gain than by experience you know what I mean and the birds are all flustered they're like what is she doing down there all right let's remove a few of you guys good job I'm so proud that you guys are growing but guess what? You need more. You need more shoulder room. More shoulder room. What, Siri? You know that saying. I speak like I'm not even a native English speaker. Sometimes, my gosh. More elbow room. We're gonna give you guys a little more elbow room, especially because this is the much larger lettuce. And again, where I have a couple where nothing popped up, I think that's because, like this one, I think I must have just missed the seed sprinkling when I was sprinkling seeds into these. So let's clear those out and this out. Who knows, you guys change my life through the, even just these few minutes of attention that you do. This is what makes it so I can do these things. Your attention, your time is precious. Don't ever forget that. And when you choose to give your time to an independent YouTuber like this, then that's how they take care of their families. As long as you don't have like ad block on, then then the, the, it helps to have the subs and the likes. But gotta admit, the ad block is how we take care of our families. So I I actually have, and I don't have ad block on because if I did, uh, and you get caught with ad block as a creator, then you're banned, like for life. I think that's what the rumors say, and that's much better. So we removed far more baby sprouts. 
then we kept and I feel kind of weird about that but I kind of am excited about rinsing them off and eating them <laughs> and actually let's celebrate by sprinkling some more lettuce sprouts so where are our here's our Boston lettuce and here's the Tom's Thumb lettuce so why I put these in I put these in medicine caps so that they'd be secure plus my aunt is a midwife and um, she just had a bunch of empty medicine bottles from various things. They're just pill bottles, so not dangerous ones. Alright, we're going to just sprinkle those. So we've got some Tom Sum on there. So they were available. I'm big on recycling. I mean, look, we are recycling and growing lettuce inside an empty lettuce container. How cool is that? And now we're going to get... If I can, ah, that was masterful. I managed to open it on the ground. Go me! There we go. And look at all the little lettuce seeds. I have hundreds of lettuce seeds. So I'm not crying tears over the $2 I spent on the package like three years ago. And now that I know how easy it is to get them to sprout, I'm actually super excited about trying to keep lettuce constantly going, fresh lettuce in my house. I had no idea it was this easy. So this is really exciting. But alright guys, now we've got these ones set up. We have another empty lettuce container, and actually Darling and I eat so much lettuce, I kind of want to put more Tom's Thumb lettuce in that one and see if it takes off or not. But Darling also really loves fresh herbs, whoops, and I've got some herb seeds too. So this is fun! I'm going to actually try to learn about how to become a seed saver uh, and start collecting seeds and growing more things and maybe getting more light setups like this so I can get even more things growing in my house. And it would be nice to be able just to grow my, my lettuce and some of my basic things that I eat all the time like that, especially because Darling and I are vegan. I'm back to being vegan. Um, after I figured out it was gluten making me sick, not a lack of, like, dairy. <laughs> I'm actually lactose intolerant, so I thought that was kind of counterintuitive. But, basically, I want to learn how to do this. I want to learn how to garden, and even though, uh, I might make a lot of mistakes, I'm not going to be scared about it anymore because it's so much fun to share the experience with you guys. So, I will see you guys later. I'm going to look up what it takes to be a seed saver because that sounds like so much fun. And let's hope that our little lettuce guys keep doing well. I'll keep you updated. Bye, guys.